Welcome back to the big playback. All right, Central Oregon, I had a lot of fun putting this together. Our top plays of the season on offense and defense for each team, plus our top offensive and defensive teams. Sit back and enjoy. Starting things off on the offensive side of the ball, one of the many touchdowns Ben scored against Mountain View in the team's dominant Week 9 performance. This one from Malachi Nutter. On defense, while this play from McNary may have gone for a lot of yards, it did not make it into the end zone for one reason only. Say hello to Fred Kent and his closing speed. For Kirk County, still one of my favorite plays of the season. Kyrie Willis putting his defender on a poster with the Randy Moss type catch and score in one of the games of the season. And the reason it was one of the games of the season was because of the Crook County defense as a whole. Culver now, where we see how quickly offense can turn to defense as the Bulldogs swarm the ball. For offense, it's Ryan Sotelo's twinkle toes escaping some defenders and getting some nice yards after the catch. Up next is one of the best catches we saw all season long. Lapine's Dawson Cook with the fingertip snag. Colton Campbell may play like Matthew Stafford as the Hawks quarterback, but on defense, he's more like Aaron Donald. We may not have seen many trick plays on the big playback this season, but the few we saw were great. This one from Madras, where we saw two passes in one play. Speaking of plays we did not see many of, how about a pick six? Johan Polon took this pick to the house against Sisters in week two. Usually it's teamwork on the offensive side of the ball, getting the job done. But Mountain View's Cameron Smith and Mason Ludwig showing just how effective teamwork is on the defensive side of the ball with the tackle and fumble recovery. Enter the Matrix and Mountain View's Sayer Williamson, who loved making defenders miss left and right. Over to Redmond now, where Jason Steve King made a few defenders miss on this play before stretching out for the touchdown. Panthers sophomore quarterback Colton Horner showing us it's not how you start the play, but how you finish it with the touchdown saving tackle against Ridgeview. Another top play from, I'll say it again, one of the best games of the season. This time it's Ridgeview's offense and Eric Pendergrass activating beast mode, going 60 yards for the score. And how about some more defensive teamwork? This time it's Joseph Martin and Ryan Asplin on the strip, scoop, and score. Over to Sisters and Griffin Gardner airing it out for the sideline catch by Joseph Butner. Sisters defense coming together on this play to put an outlaw's wall on the Lapine Hawks running back. One of many top plays from the Summit Storm defense this season. This one a goal line interception by senior Joe Schutz. Usually a QB sneak goes for a few yards, but if they don't tackle you, you just keep going. Hogan Carmichael turns a two yard gain into a 10 yard touchdown. Those are your top plays of the season on offense and defense. But what about the top overall offensive and defensive teams in Central Oregon? Let's start on the defense and who else but the dominant Summit Storm. Let's take a trip to the Summit Storm Saloon to see just how good the Storm defense was. The team was undefeated at home with a 7-2 overall record with the defense allowing 9 points per game. For a closer look, let's bring up the Summit Storm Saloon menu. The Storm had two shutouts this season, with one coming in the playoffs. The defense allowed double-digit points in only three games, and in the Storm's eight wins, opposing teams scored fewer than 50 points. 
combined in the team's season special, a 20-0 shutout win at the Bend Lava Bear Stadium in week three. Up next, it's the best offense in Central Oregon. For that, we're traveling to Redmond to the Ridgeview Ravens restaurant to see what they're serving up. How about an 8-2 regular season record, scoring 30 points per game and scoring more than 20 in nine of their regular season games. For most of the season, the Ravens scored at will. Here's a closer look. In week four, the Ravens went on a four-game winning streak, outscoring those opponents by nearly 100 points in all of their win... 100 points. In all of their wins, the Ravens outscored opponents by 167. The Ravens scored the most points against the Dows in week seven, scoring 49. But the team's season special was a 42 to zero Redmond showdown win against the Panthers. Let's give it up for the best defensive and offensive teams in Central Oregon. All right, thanks for joining us and watching the big playback all season long. We've had a great season. We've not only covered football, we've covered some other sports as well. We've talked about the volleyball teams, of course, in Central Oregon. They may not have won some state titles, but they did great. And, of course, the Summit Boys soccer team has done great as well. Thanks for watching, and have a great night, Central Oregon.